Gregory says, hey, I need your help to answer two cool questions. I believe your preference is to rebuild niche relevant aged expired domains and link back to your money site. But if I wanted to just 301 redirect it to my money site for an easy SEO boost, should I just use... Should I use just one to a site or can I use several 301 redirected domains to the same money site without causing a problem with Google? Um, you know, I, I get this question often, Gregory, and I always respond the same way. I do not like to do a bunch of redirects to the money site. I think that raises a red flag. It's, um, you know, I know a lot of people that do it. And that's You can do it. I don't personally, I don't do it. I, I prefer to uh, either if I'm going to do a redirect, which I don't do very many of those, um, I'm going to redirect to a branded tier one asset. That makes sense, like an ID page or something like that, right? Um, <clears throat> instead of direct to the money site. Hopefully that's clear. And it's because, I, again, I just don't like to build a bunch of redirects to the money site. I think it's a red flag. So I always would prefer, I either prefer to build, look, if, if you're going to, if you find a domain that's relevant, don't just buy domains based on pure metrics and then redirect them, guys. That's not helpful. It's not. Uh, if the backlink profile is relevant to what you're going to re be redirecting the domain to, then fine, you can do a redirect. But if you just keep in mind that, you know, if you have a backlink profile that is relevant to a particular topical category, why not build that site out? Right now you've got another asset that you can use to link to, to not only your original target, but to others as well that would be in the same niche or industry or topic, right? So I don't understand why, I, I get it. It's probably, a, and I'm not picking on you, Gregory. It's probably a, a speed to deploy type thing. Like I could call it lazy. It could be a lazy thing. Uh, and I'm not, I'm just joking, Gregory. I, but I know that that's a lot. A lot of people just want to, as you said, a quick boost. I want a quick boost. Yeah, but- Again, my point is, why not build that domain out and put a topic clustered blog on it? And now you've got an asset that you can use to link to more than just one target. And it's relevant. You can build more topical relevance through the domain that you build because you can add more you know, topic coverage, et cetera. So look, in my opinion, guys, why not build out your own assets? It, you know, If you're going to buy the domains, you're halfway there. So just build it out. Um, but yeah, to answer your question, can you just redirect it? Yes, you can. I don't like to do it. If I'm going to redirect, I'm going to do it to a branded tier one asset that is then linking to my site. Um, so that's one way you can do it. Press releases. That's another good one. You could link, you could redirect to the press advantage or whatever service you're using. In the semantic mastery world, we use the press advantage, organ, uh, press advantage. So we have an organization page which is great to do a redirect to something like that or an ID page as I already mentioned. Those are two like really good ones because they're essentially entity or iframe stacks, right? Um, uh, so those are really good ones to do that with. If you have a G site uh, with a G stack and a G sheet embedded into it, that's another one that you could redirect to. Those are all good, but you could also do it to a, a single press release, for example, right? Like again, with press advantage, we can have uh, do follow links in the, the press the press releases that are published on the press advantage domain. So you could take one particular press release and do a redirect to that instead of direct to the money site. Hopefully that makes sense. I just, I don't like to do redirects to the money site. Okay. Uh, and if one, if if more than one is safe to use, should I use the money site homepage URL for all to re redirects or use different web pages for each one? Again, it, it, there's there, there there's some more analysis that would be required before I can answer that. Like number one is what does your current distribution look like across your site? I do a lot of audits for clients uh, and or people that buy audits. And I want the last point of the audit. There's 21 points in the audit. The very last point. So point 21 is distribution, link distribution. And that is very rarely do, do I see good distribution. It's usually like the home page is freaking hammered with backlinks and all internal pages have basically none or I mean very, very few backlinks. But the home page is just loaded up with backlinks. Look, it's normal guys for the home page to have more backlinks than any other page on the site. That's typical. It's normal. But why hammer the home page with backlinks all the time when there's other you know, pages on the site, right? You should be building links, in my opinion, you should be distributing links more evenly across the site. I'm not saying you distribute them evenly. I'm saying just, you know, distribute links more evenly across internal pages 
Um, and, uh, it, you know, depending on how you have your site structured, there are specific pages that can, when you hit them with links, can power up other pages, right? So that's where I talk about like different kind of internal linking structures, the bottom up approach or top down approach. Um, you know, if you're doing a top down approach, anytime you hit a particular page with backlinks, it will uh, flow through all of the subordinate pages, which is, a, again, it's a more efficient way to build links, et cetera. So um, I'm not, you know, typically that's the homepage isn't going to be the best place for that. You can hit the home and maybe somebody's going to say, well, that's where the main navigation menu is. That's where all my key pages are. So isn't that the same thing? Yeah. But what about hitting individual pages? And then like, for example, if you have a silo structure and you have categories and subcategories, you can hit category pages and it will flow through to the subcategory pages. Um, there's just a number of things that you can do. And I don't think hitting the homepage all the time is the best, right? You can find other places to inject relevance and link equity that will create or promote buoyancy. Buoyancy is the rising tide lifts all boats, right? So if you can hit the site in, in key places with relevance, link equity, et cetera, then it's going to help the entire site to perform better. So the homepage is not always the best target. Um, that's where I see most people always build links to, but I would encourage you to look at other pages on the site. And then that goes back to, the, re the domains that you, and, and based on your question, want to redirect instead of building out, which again, I recommend you, you build out. But if you're going to redirect them, like what was the topical category of the domain that you're redirecting? Would it be more appropriate and relevant to point it to another page on the site that's more specific? Do you understand? So you have to understand what is what was that, the what does the backlink profile look like for the domain that you're considering redirecting? What was the former content of that domain, right? Here's the thing, guys. If Google is now discrediting links or devaluing links for lack of relevance, if on one side of the spectrum there is a link with zero relevance and Google ignores it, and on the other side of the spectrum there is 100% relevance matching from the target URL to the, to the referring page, to the referring domain, and there's a relevance match at all levels. And, and, and the backlink profile of the referring domain is relevant too. Now you're talking about like four layers of relevance, okay? And that Google gives that link 100% credit. So as I've said before, 0% relevance, Google ignores. 100% relevance, Google gives full credit. But there's varying degrees of relevance between either side of that spectrum, right? And so the, the point that I'm trying to make here is if, you know, if you're trying to... Um, if you want to be the most relevant, you want to look at the, the 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 profile of the domains that you're considering to purchase or using or whatever, and look at what was the former content, what does the backlink profile look like? Because here's the thing, guys, I've heard about this for years, and I don't know because I don't buy domains and then repopulate or or uh, I don't buy domains based on metrics alone and then put new content in co categories that aren't relevant to what it was before. But I've heard in the past people say that if you buy a domain that has backlink profile that's that's already expired, meaning it went through the auction process and it's already expired, Google resets those backlinks. They, it doesn't pay attention. I've heard many people say that in the SEO industry. Well, I found that to be exactly uh, that that may be true if you buying a domain based on metrics and then you put a new blog on it with multiple topical categories, et cetera, because you purchased the domain based on metrics and not what the topical relevance of the domain was, then it makes sense when you republish that domain and Google index it, it resets all those links, like the backlinks, it basically ignores them because if the backlinks pointing to the domain aren't relevant, then Google is going to ignore the links. So if you're buying a domain based purely on metrics and then you're going to put new content in new categories that the domain wasn't based on before and the backlinks pointing to that domain aren't going to be relevant to that category anymore, then it makes sense that Google would reset it and basically ignore the backlink profile because they're not relevant, right? So that's why I'm saying in, in semantic links, I have experienced, I've not experienced that at all because we are hunting down domains with relevance. And then when we republish the domains or put new content on them, it's in the same topical category, which means the backlink profile, which that is a significant part of our analysis, is looking at the backlink profile of a prospective domain that we might purchase to use. 
And if the backlink profile is in a particular topical category, at least primarily in a, a, a particular topical category, then when we publish new content onto that site, it's still going to be in the same topical category. Those links are going to remain valid because they're still relevant to what it's linking to. Does that make sense? So that's why I'm saying, again, if you're looking at potentially redirecting domains to your site, which I don't recommend, but if you're going to do it anyway, um, then analyze the, the the domain and the one that you're considering to redirect. Look at look at the Wayback Machine, archive.org. What was the content on the site the last time it was published? What is the backlink profile? Use a tool like Majestic that has a measure of relevance from the external backlink profile, not just third-party metrics. Does that make sense? Um, apparently, and I've not even looked in this, and I have SEMrush, and I just haven't even looked into it, but some, one of my link building clients told me that SEMrush has a measure of topical relevance now too. Um, and for backlinks, I've not looked at it. I do have a SEMrush account. So at some point I'll take a look at that, but I'm, I'm particular to Majestic. Um, Majestic, by the way, was so far ahead of their time. They had Majestic, to Topical Trust Flow was a metric that Majestic came up with many years ago, long before um, that was really even important. Uh, so like for the algorithm, at least. And um, so they were way ahead of their time on that, in my opinion. Anyway, hopefully that's clear. I, again, I don't recommend redirecting though. Just build the domain out, man. Now you've got another asset that you can do a lot more with than just redirecting to one page on your site. Hopefully that's clear.